Changing of the guard. Congressman John Yarmouth has been a mainstay in the House of Representatives, first taking office in 2007 to represent the people of Louisville. Now, this morning, for the first time, we refer to him as former Congressman Yarmouth, since he did not seek another term. Despite the new title, John Allen Yarmouth talked to our Eric King about why he's Kentucky and a proud. Chair will now recognize the gentleman from Kentucky. Mr. Yarmouth. Sometimes closure comes without fanfare. In December of 2022, John Yarmouth gave his final speech on the House floor to a nearly empty chamber. Of course, I must thank my family for encouraging me, encouraging me to do this work. But fanfare was never something Yarmouth was known to seek. He leaned more into being calm, steady, and understated. I can't imagine a member of Congress who was more warmly received by his constituents throughout his term of office. Elected to Congress eight times, Yarmouth was more often than not Kentucky's only Democrat serving in Congress. The Atherton grad was a ranking member of Congress, a vice ranking member of Congress, and retired as chair of the Budget Committee, a vital position since all budget bills that raise revenue must originate in the House. I would love for the people in this community to think that I was somebody who was always accessible, who uh, never turned anybody away, who wanted to hear what people thought, what their challenges were, uh, but also somebody who uh, had some very distinct ideas about the direction of the country and stood up for them and was honest with my constituents about them. He takes great pride in having his name on the American Rescue Plan, which passed in March of 2021, and for his work to pass the Affordable Care Act in 2010. With that, leaving the house he's called home for 15 years isn't easy. Incredibly hard. <laughs> uh, as I've told many people recently, I'm really not ready to go, but I'm not prepared to stay. And uh, I will miss it terribly. I already do. The last couple of weeks have been incredibly emotional for me as I've said goodbye to some very, very dear friends that I may never see again. So I will leave the house proud of my work, grateful for the opportunity to serve here, and committed to continue to serve our great country and its people. For the last time, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.